I've been seeing infants, children, and adults in my clinic now more than 40 years, and it's always focusing on bone disease related to different metabolic disorders, calcium, vitamin D, and the like. Probably about eight to 10 years ago, I got this frantic phone call from a mom. She and her husband had just been accused of abusing their child. And I said that I'm not sure how I can help you because I have no experience with child abuse. And she said, but we've heard that you are an expert in metabolic bone disease and the reason we're being accused of child abuse is that we had innocently brought in our child to the emergency department with an upper respiratory tract infection only to find out that the child had several fractures of the ribs and, and other skeletal areas in various stages of healing. And it was concluded by the pediatrician and child abuse expert this had to have been caused by child abuse. So I said to them, I'll be happy to see you, but I really don't know if I can help. So after talking to her on the phone and, and going through various of the symptoms that I, I typically ask on the phone to see if, in fact, that she has any evidence for this, she actually came to my um, clinic, and there was no question that she has Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, hypermobility type 3. So Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is an autosomal dominant genetic disorder. And that's important because that means that if a parent has it, they have a 50% chance of transferring it. And Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is a genetic defect of the collagen elastin matrix. And basically, the collagen elastin matrix keeps you together. And that's why it's well documented in the literature that Ehlers-Danlos patients, adults, have a 10 times higher risk of having a fragility fracture. And so to me, it wasn't much of a stretch that if you have an infant that has much smaller skeleton, that they're going to also be at extremely high risk of fracture with just normal handling. So I went uh, and testified in the family court to the judge and the judge thought that I made sense, and so as a result, returned um, parental care uh, to both of the parents, and all charges were dropped. Many of the child abuse cases that I see, the abuse charge is based on only one observation, not realizing that the child abuse expert, and often the pediatrician, doesn't have the expertise in metabolic bone disease. Now, you would think that that would be incredibly important if you are making the diagnosis of child abuse associated with multiple fractures. Just because you have Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and can explain these fractures doesn't mean that they're not abusing the child. And I explain that to the court all the time, that I personally don't know the family, and so I can't vouch to say that they did not abuse their child. What I will explain to the court is that if there's clear evidence of vitamin D deficiency and insufficiency that's compromising the skeleton of that infant, if I find that I'm able to see the parents and make the diagnosis of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, get a family history of siblings and other children having evidence for it, and if I'm permitted to see that infant or child in my clinic and, and able to make that diagnosis, then I can write to the court that there is this additional mitigating circumstance that should be taken into account. So my hope is, after all the experience that I've been now collecting in our clinical research program, is in fact to start publishing papers to outline how you can make a definitive diagnosis of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome in infants and young children. Right now, the, the mantra is that you can't make the diagnosis until the child's around five years of age. And in my opinion, to know that this is autosomal dominant, that you know that these infants have a 50% chance of acquiring it, and that all of these other symptoms of mast cell hypersensitivity, gastroparesis, uh, and um, easy bruisability, just for a few, if that infant has that, and a parent that has EDS, I think that is pretty good uh, likelihood that that infant has EDS.